Hello, I'm Ian One Bud, one of the crew members here at the Historic Ship Nautilus Submarine Museum. I'm here to talk to you today about Commander Gilmore. Commander Howard Gilmore was remembered by his shipmates as an easygoing commander who was not easily upset by problems. One popular story with him was the time that his wife came down to the submarine to visit. He handed her a grease-stained cup of coffee. The look that she gave him made him take the coffee cup back, wipe off the grease stain, and hand it back to her with a cheerful, it's free. Born on September 20th, 1902, Gilmore originally enlisted in the Navy as a yeoman in 1920. He entered the Naval Academy in 1922 and upon graduation started out in the surface Navy prior to joining the submarine fleet. He served aboard the USS Shark and USS Dolphin as executive officer and on the S-48 as commanding officer. On December 8, 1941, the day after the attack on Pearl Harbor, he took command of the newly constructed USS Growler SS-215, which was placed in commission the following March. During Growler's first three war patrols, in spite of numerous problems with torpedoes that plagued many submarines early in the war, they succeeded in sinking five enemy ships totaling nearly 30,000 tons. These actions earned Gilmore the Navy Cross twice. January 1, 1943, Growler set out on its fourth war patrol, attacking convoys on January 1st and February 16th with one successful sinking. The accounts of the early morning hours of February 7th vary. But what is clear is that Growler was on the surface, likely tracking Japanese ships. The Hayaski was sighted coming to ram the Growler, to which Gilmore ordered left full rudder and all ahead full. The Growler struck the Japanese ship amidships at 11 knots, bending 18 feet of the Growler's bow to 90 degrees to port and disabling her forward torpedo tubes. In the ensuing machine gun fire from the Japanese ship, two men topside were killed and three others wounded, including Gilmore. Realizing the grim situation, Gilmore ordered the bridge cleared and then gave his final order, which has been remembered by submariners ever since. Take her down. The executive officer, Lieutenant Commander Shade, dove the sub with its mortally wounded commander still topside and took it to Australia for an extensive refit. The Growler, later nicknamed the Kangaroo Express due to decorations on the newly replaced bow, went to sea again in January 1943. It conducted six more patrols sinking four more Japanese ships before it was lost in action on November 8, 1944. For sacrificing his life to save his ship, Commander Howard Gilmore was awarded the Medal of Honor, which was presented to his widow. Citation reads as follows. For distinguished gallantry and valor above and beyond the call of duty as commanding officer of the USS Growler during her fourth war patrol in the Southwest Pacific from 10 January to 7 February 1943. Boldly striking at the enemy in spite of continuous hostile air and anti-submarine patrols, Commander Gilmore sank one Japanese freighter and damaged another by torpedo fire, successfully evading severe death charges following each attack. In the darkness of night on 7 February, an enemy gunboat closed range and prepared to ram the Growler. Commander Gilmore daringly maneuvered to avoid the crash and rammed the attacker instead, ripping into her port side at 11 knots and bursting wide her plates. In the terrific fire of the sinking gunboat's heavy machine guns, Commander Gilmore calmly gave the order to clear the bridge and, refusing safety for himself, remained on deck while his men preceded him below. Struck down by the fusillade of bullets and having done his utmost against the enemy, in his final living moments, Commander Gilmore gave his last order to his officer of the deck, take her down. The Growler dived, seriously damaged but under control. She was brought safely to port by her well-trained crew inspired by the courageous fighting spirit of their dead captain.